In this episode, some cool hacks for your phone. Now, if you want a quiet notification and you don't like it on vibration, here's a nifty trick. Go to your settings, go to general, and then to accessibility, LED flash for alerts, and you turn them on. So every time you get a notification, it will flash. Let me show you how it works. I'm gonna get my friend to call me. Okay, go. Are you calling? Oh, here it goes. Can you see it flashing? Strike a pose. I use this personally. Now, why do I use it? There's no real good answer for that one. I guess I like the <laughs> I just think it looks cool, okay? Now, I'm sure all of you know that you can customize your ringtone for different people, but did you know that you can actually customize your vibration as well? <laughs> Ladies. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So if you're using an iPhone, you wanna to go to your settings, and then you wanna to go to sounds, ringtone, and then you wanna to go to vibration, create new vibration. To create a pattern, you just need to tap to create the vibration mode that you would like. Wow, that's a... Did you hear that? Save it, and you can name it, and you can assign it to whichever contact you like. Go to your contacts, and I'm gonna save it to Jillian. Edit. Then you wanna go to ringtone, vibration, assign, done deal. Okay, so I'm gonna get her to call me. G, call me. No, okay. oh, there it is. This also works for Android. Go to your contacts, scroll down all the way to the bottom, go to vibration pattern, and then you can choose whichever vibration you want. And done deal, baby. If you're traveling to another country and you're having difficulties reading foreign language, here's a really cool app to download. It's called Google Translate, and it is bloody genius. So as you can see, I have a sign up on the computer. It is half in Chinese and half in English. The English part doesn't make sense. What is no nothing? I don't know, I'm gonna find out. So all you have to do, go to Google Translate, go to the camera, Just hold your camera over the sign and it instantly translates the words into your preferred language. So as you can see, it says, ban climb. I guess that means no climbing. So cool, right? So this is really handy for whenever you're traveling and you can't read things. Another cool thing that this app can do is vocal translation. This is bloody awesome. So say for example, I'm in China and the person that I'm talking to doesn't understand a word of English. All I have to do is jump onto this app, push the microphone and say, where is the closest restaurant? <gasps> right? How awesome is that? I think it's genius. Whoever made this app is bloody genius. So say I want to do reverse and do from Mandarin to English. All I have to do is go into here. Ni hao ma. How are you? It understood me. <laughs> Awesome! You can travel anywhere and not have language barriers. Many of you may have lots of hard copy photos. People my age, more so. <laughs> Now, if you have a bunch of old photos and you want to keep digital copies and you don't have a photo scanner, here's a really cool thing you can do. Download a free application called Photo Scan. Now, I have with me a very embarrassing life album, which it was very nice of my mum to make. I do love it, but it's very embarrassing to show the whole world. There's naked baby photos in there and you see my vagina. I don't want to share my world, my vagina. So I'm going to try and jump straight to a page where it's like a decent photo where I'm not naked. It's here. So here's a picture of me and my papa. My father is Singaporean and he was a mega hipster back in the days. I think I was about two years old in this picture. Now, if I were to take a normal photo of this photo, there will actually be a glare. You kind of have to move around to get rid of the glare and it's really irritating. Well, with this app, it actually takes the glare out. So I'm gonna take a photo of the photo. As you can see, it's really glary and it's gonna have four dots. So I've just gotta match each corner to the dots, let it load up and here it is. How cool is that? No glare, me and my father. A toi. Oh, bo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here's a nifty trick if ever you lose your phone. Set your lock screen 
with some details so that whoever finds it can return it back to you. Type out a message on your notepad. So you want to screenshot that and then I want to set that to my lock screen. Go to your settings, go to wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, camera roll, set that to your lock screen. And that is all set. So when I close that, all the information is right there. -na -na -na. Now that you know how to do it on the iPhone, I'm gonna show how to do it on an Android. Go to your settings, go to the lock screen and security, info and app shortcuts, and then owner information. If found, call, there's a reward. And done. And there you have it. All the information if you've lost your phone. I have lost my phone once before. I was in Bali. I didn't get it back. Unfortunately, the person wasn't a good person and didn't return my phone. So, hopefully, it'll work out for you guys. So you know how if you want to charge your phone and the outlet is too high up on the wall? There isn't a high wall outlet in this house. So this is the high wall outlet that we've made and this is the phone charger. The phone charger is really, really short. It's going to be dangling like that, which I don't think is very good for your phone. So here's a really simple hack. All you need is a paper bag. So I'm just going to hold this up to the outlet, plug it in, plug my phone in and put it inside the bag. And there you have it. A nice little hammock for your phone. Now if you don't have a paper bag, you can make a makeshift holder. I use a piece of paper, I made this shape. Fold that up, hold it against the outlet, plug it in, grab your phone, and then you just slide your phone in like so. Now if you're one of those people that always forgets where you parked your car, here's a really nifty trick. Go to your Google Maps. The blue dot is exactly where you're at, so you want to push on the blue dot, and then you want to go down to save your parking and then you can add more info. You can put notes. You can also set a timer for when your parking expires. And you can also add photos. So you can take a photo of where your car is at. So there you have it. I've saved where my pa, my pa is supposed to car. Okay. <laughs> So there you have it. I have saved where my car is parked. So when I want to find my car, I just go back to Google Maps. You parked here. Time left, 59 minutes. And there you have it. Here's a really cool prank that you can trick someone with. Now, I recommend this for someone that is not tech savvy. I'm sure all of you have some older relatives that are not very good at uh, using the phone. Okay, so I'm going to teach you a really irritating trick that you can play on them. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings and then to general, keyboard, and then you want to go to text replacement. I'm going to put Harlem Shake and then the shortcut can be dishes. So I want to save that. So whenever someone writes dishes, Harlem Shake will come up. For an example, if my mum were to text me, Rebecca, have you done the dishes? It comes up as Harlem Shake. How annoying would that be? So all of you out there, go have a field day and play with each other's phones. Don't say I'd teach you, ma. Don't say I'll say ah. We have come to the end of yet another episode. Now, if you're not in the know, we have actually started a new merch store at tandemmerch.com. Now, you can get awesome t-shirts that I've designed like these and other stuff too. So be sure to go check it out. I thank you in advance for all of your support. Also, you can follow me at RJT99. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos one month before they come out on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Mwah!